Joining us now is Stephen Caliendo, political science professor at North Central College. Professor, it's nice to see you. Good to well, see we you both, too. We both saw you on the road at the convention. That's right. Was it both? Um, what are the odds that there is some legal challenge to the voting process and we do not have a president-elect tomorrow night? Uh, I think they're probably small. I think there, there may be uh, a good chance that there's some legal challenges, but um, if the gap is what is expected, um, then it won't matter that much. I mean, if it's very close in terms of electoral votes, uh, in other words, if there are some close states and the electoral votes are pretty close, then any kind of a challenge might lead us to have to stay up a little late and maybe wait a couple of days. But even if some of those states are close, but the electoral gap is big, then there may not, not be much to challenge. So we were reporting earlier how some records are being broken because of early voting. Right. And what do you expect the turnout to be tomorrow? And do you think that indicates one party or one candidate in this case may have a, a bigger following because of that turnout? Well, it's going to be t tomorrow going to be interesting. A larger voter turnout typically helps Democrats. That's the, that's that's the, the rule of thumb. Um, but it's difficult as as you know this election has gone on, especially the last couple of weeks. There's been a lot of movement in the polls, but so many people had already cast ballots, right? And so what happens on election day used to be determined partly by what that last push for the campaign was, what we just watched and what Jim Williams just reported. Uh, but a lot of that that was uh, irrelevant if people had already cast ballots. We keep hearing that it's rigged, the process sure. is rigged, and I can think back to 2000 when we had the Florida vote recount, That's and right. it went on for weeks and weeks and weeks. What if one of the candidates demands a recount? Yeah. How long could this thing go under that kind of scenario? If it's a situation like we had in 2000, the reason why we had to wait so long in 2000 is because President Bush ended up with 271 electoral votes. And so it was very close. The, those votes in Florida that were contested within a couple of hundred votes really mattered for the outcome. But again, if, if the gap is big, as some of the polls are predicting, then it may not matter as much, even if some of the states are close. All right. Stephen Kelly, Indio, thank you for joining us. Good to us. see you. Nice sure. to see you again. Sure. You bet.